firstly as a grower you want actually to look what it's in good bats what are bad bats and we love these what we say spurs that's actually where you grow the best pears on and then you look from the water shoots we look if there is a flower bud or a terminal bud and this is a flower bud and when they are really pointy then actually that's what we call and that's actually leaf bud when you leave something like this it has to be a, a flower bud otherwise there's no point to leave it basically and again when you look here this is a very vigorous root stock and then we come here to the end you've got a fork here and what we have to do is reduce this what we call click pruning and the click pruning is probably the most important thing we're we'll talking about okay and can you describe what exactly click pruning is and what it's trying to achieve Click pruning, what we try to do with click pruning is actually we go back to in what we call to a centimetre, we leave here in centimetre and it means that you actually get the sleeping bud, what comes out three weeks later and that sleeping bud develop actually in the future to what you see here, like a nice little spurs and then again, see that's a fruit bud on it and then it is a useful piece of fruit and then the year after we can do the same thing again okay but um, that's more or less the principle the principle is that you actually get just past the ring sleeping bud sleeping bud comes three weeks later and you get basically a spur back and what you can see on this one shall I prune yes please yes it's if you actually uh, prune this then you say look I don't need that I don't need that that's your branch these are the fantastic spurs but you can see that's actually leaf bud but we leave them there's nothing there that's your fruit but again that's a flower bud on there just we're not worried about it we can leave that you come to here you click this one off once you don't need it you need only one liter and then you click this one back and that's what we call click pruning and the idea is from click pruning is that we get that result where you get a nice little spur, but I can't really see but technically the year after you get at least that softer wood back like something like this and that's the idea from the click pruning that you go back to one year old wood and technically we get all the vigor here you get definitely a reaction on this cut but this is cutting to one year old wood but actually not given strong reaction we call that if you cut to two years old wood you get very strong reaction you get a lot of vigor and again this is to calm down and with this cut you push also the bud backs so that these stay more fruitful for a couple of years We look for good buds, we look for good wood and when we were looking here we see a lot of wood but not good wood <laughs> you see but what we call good wood is that you got these beautiful buds see these pears that's really pear pruning okay and it's totally different than apples we look for that sort of buds absolute fantastic buds on a feet eh? yes on a yeah like on yeah, a oh, you say a feet but uh, yeah, yeah. yeah we call we call this a little spur basically yeah. you know you get a spur with fantastic buds that's very important and you see this is called what we call a pencil wood and the pencil wood see there's no terminal bud on there there's no flower bud there's only leaf and technically it's good and also there are uh, not good uh, leaf buds on it no very weak very weak, weak leaf buds yeah and yeah yeah when you go to this one you see the difference here you have good leaf buds and good leaf buds will become also good flower buds for next year yeah and, and this, this one we remove and then you come here and again the same sort of principle we got some good wood but it is we got some other good buds here this technically we're not doing this but you got too many competing yeah and explain also why we don't do this but we do this yeah we click again to here you see that we, we keep on clicking not to the ring you just keep on clicking sleeping bud 
we create spurs. We are really creating this new softer spurs. wood, new spurs on that wood. And that, this is probably the most important to remember, yeah. that we click this bank to get new little spurs. Yeah, yeah. And they come from sleeping butts. Yeah. And a sleeping butt comes three weeks later. And that's what the key is, yeah. that they actually just the butt up really nice. And again here, we've got a beautiful spur. We're not going to cut it off. We're going to click this again. See that? Nice click. And then here we click Same. back again. Yep. Same thing. But the argument from the growers in general is in Australia is we do three cuts. The Australian grower would have done that. And that's the wrong one. And that's the wrong one. And you see here you have a good flower bud. You have a good flower bud. Here you have good spurs. And for next year we get them here and we get them here and also on here. Correct. See that? And that's the key from yeah. peer pruning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Is yeah, that the, the better quality? Yeah, yeah, the, the better, better quality. quality yes. Yeah. 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 And that makes it so difficult for the growers. When you see, they like to do an easy cut, and I just show you this is an extreme. We should do two cuts, but in uh, contract pruner, basically, they do one cut like that. See, you've got a very big area. We get a water shoot back from yeah. 60 centimeters, and that's worth. And no, and no buts. And no buts. This again, it's better to remove it than even yep. doing that cut. See that? And that's the difference, see, with click pruning. But it needs more skilled and you have to wait a little bit longer. Yeah.